Hello, map game enjoyers. Strategy Games Tempest here, and welcome back to Victoria 2. Except this isn't regular Victoria 2. This is Victoria 2, but depressing. I'm just kidding. This is actually the Victoria 2 Throne of Lorraine mod, which is a mod I've never played before, but it looks fantastic, and I am very ready to give it a try. I have no idea what the lore for this mod is like at all, so I decided to go with a relatively safe choice of nations. I'm gonna play Toledo. I feel like I'm long overdue for a Spain video on my channel. I have no idea which nations are good and which nations are bad, so tell me in the comment section if you'd like to see me play another nation in this mod and what that nation should be. I have no idea what went so wrong in Spain to reduce our literacy to 10.1% in 1836. That's kind of sad. So according to this event, we used to have Hispania and Puerto Rico as our colonies, but we've lost them. So now we can outlaw slavery? I like the idea, but what the heck is this? A pirate republic in the Caribbean. You know what they say about finding yourself in a place you're not comfortable with. You should declare war on your neighbors. So Portugal is getting destroyed. Okay, so apparently Genoa has fallen apart and that has allowed us to seize Gibraltar. The province is so tiny you can barely see it, but I'm glad we have it. And also, we just mutilated Portugal, but we're stronger now. As far as world developments go, England has formed, and they should be able to contest Scotland now. That'll be interesting. Denmark, Norway? I don't remember that. Venetian Dominion of Australia. Oh man, that's cursed. Dawn of Peace. Why does that give us an infamy reduction? You'd think that the Dawn of Peace would make it less easy to conquer territory. For those of you interested in what the culture map mode looks like in this game, it kind of looks like this. You guys can try and make sense of it, but it looks very different from the traditional culture. A couple things are the same. We got French culture, we got English culture, and we got North and South German culture, but everywhere else it's kind of different. Portugal has come back for their land, and this time they brought the Dutch. Oh no! I personally think that Portugal thought the Dutch would be more help than they are, because the Portuguese got destroyed and the Dutch have done Nothing. Looks like we're not going to be able to defeat the Dutch for a hot minute, so we're going to take out Granada and hope that their pops help us destroy the Dutch. That event gives us cores on all the Granadan territory. We're going to click the button and declare war. We have finally completed the Reconquista. It took like 400 years, but the taste of victory is sweet. White peace, the Netherlands, and we get to keep Portugal. Awesome. Why does Venice need to own territory in Morocco? Like seriously, Venice is a cancer that spreads across the land and colonizes a bunch of really gross looking stuff wherever you don't want them. Meanwhile, in Europe, the Hanseatic League has centralized, which uh, makes them very strong. Over here, Lithuania is gone. What happened to Lithuania, guys? I can take random stuff to Venice. You see that? You like that, Venice? I like that. Maybe it's because I've played too many South American nations in Victoria 2 A to Z, but the Jesuit Order actually looks like so much fun to play. You can draw conclusions about the lore based on the culture charts here. This area in Cyprus happens to have 21% French population, and that tells me Cyprus was once owned by the French. Speaking of which, France has apparently become a democracy, and that bumped them way down the Great Powers list. Leon and I have been good friends this game, but now it is time to make them my puppet. Friendship shall not get in the way of reuniting the Iberian Peninsula. Alright, we can puppet Leon now. From there, we can straight up just annex them with this decision. And there we are, Toledo Leon, a great, great bastion within the Iberian Peninsula. If you like this mod and you'd like to see me play more of it, go down in the description, click the subscribe button. The videos that do the best get sequels. Thank you all very much for your support. We have another event here to assert our dominance over Navarra. You don't have to ask me twice when I hear there's more territory up for grabs. We are GP. Get wrecked, Venice. My Cyprus is better than all of your silly colonies combined. I like that in this mod, you get more infamy reduction depending on how large you are. So the great powers do have some more leeway in what they can conquer. Hispanic pan-nationalists. Don't you guys know that we're on the same team here? We both have the same goal. What? 
in the world is that? The source of the Nile has been discovered and we will name it Lake Hispania because I'm optimistic that we'll actually form Hispania at some point this game. We're gonna puppet Aragon, we're gonna take back my one singular core from the Aragon. And that means we only have one more piece of territory that is a thorn in our side, keeping us from forming Hispania. This pirate nation keeps growing. This is so funny. I have to try that. That looks amazing. I'm trying to get my cores back from this sultanate, and then the Pope calls me. The Pope says we should go on a crusade against the Ottoman Empire. What the heck? The Dutch dropped from great power and that meant that Portugal left their sphere of influence. So now Portugal's in my sphere of influence. And I will use that to form Hispania, which will annex Aragon, it will annex Portugal, and it'll make this wonderful, wonderful nation. I think the game knows that it can doom little tiny nations by giving me cores on them. Andorra, I'm sorry, this is the game's fault because they gave me a core on you. Dang, that is certainly a different looking Ottoman Empire. The Latin Republic, Jerusalem, Kemet. I've been waiting the whole game for something to happen in Germany, but nothing has happened in Germany. I get the funny feeling that the Holy Roman Empire is going to form and I am so scared of that day because they are going to have a ton of pops. Also. What in the world is happening in the Americas? This thing is a titan, and I am scared of it. Mm, yes, I'd love to be part of the pirate culture. What does it entail to have pirate culture? The colonial era has come to Hispania, and I have taken a huge chunk of Africa. You know who's next? France. My allies declared war on France, and I'm gonna join them. Hopefully, I'll get my many cores back from them. I have a lot of cores on southern France. Maybe I'd have more respect for the French if they didn't have such a weird name. I'm taking my cores. Lorraine is gonna acquire Rhone. Hispania is looking pretty good right now. Why does Russia have their grubby hands all over the Mediterranean? Why would you need to spear Genoa, Sardinia, and Sicily, Russia? What is the end goal? Did somebody say, scramble for Africa? Cause I certainly am hearing it. This event allows me to lay claim to the entire Maghreb. Hispania shall rise from the ashes of Northern Africa to become the most powerful nation in the world. Also, Italian Republic, that's a little scary. I swear, every time I look at this map, it hurts my eyes more. The Maghreb is mine now, so I don't want any more funny business from anybody down there. No matter what kind of alt history you're playing in, Britain always seems to have a way of forming and becoming the number one GP. Although this is one weird Britain, it's ruled by Scotland. France is going up against me, Hungary, and Lorraine in a crisis. How did they think they can win this? I really don't know what France expected from this, but my land now the amount of people that have died in central europe this game has to be more than the amount of people that died during the hundred years war because for real things are not good left over from the venice days there's this little tiny bit of northern africa that is owned by the italians it's so small i can barely click on it but it's really bugging me that I don't own it. So Italy, seriously Italy, it's nothing personal. Italy, I have nothing against you. You are one cool cat, but I'm taking your provinces. We just annexed Kemet because we put them in our sphere. Apparently they're based off of Egypt, so they have the Egyptian annexation event. We now own a considerable portion of the Levant, which is super weird and different. Is this a vanilla event, the fate of Agamemnon? I've never gotten it before, but it gives me a lot of research points. It took many years, but Prussia is here. I don't know what to make of it. The mod is called Throne of Lorraine, so Lorraine must be pretty important lore-wise, but I haven't gotten any lore, so I have no idea what's happening. I'm getting really carried away, but I am having fun, so I honestly thought that this alt history would have been so different that they would have gotten rid of the South Pole, but no, we're the first there. It looks like the Anti-Britain Commission has formed, consisting of Russia and myself and Lorraine against Britain, Italy, and possibly France. Ah, and that is the Great War. Here we go. And there it is, our victory in the First Great War. Take that, Britannia. We all know you're the same weak Britain that you've always been. Somebody is getting dismantled, and they're offering me Hispanic India. 
Yes, I will. Oh no. Britain is also getting dismantled from that little great war. And it's weird that Scotland was released even though they were the ones that were controlling Britain and Britain is its own state now. Regardless, all of them have fallen from great power except for England who miraculously still has the status even though they are about 1,600 points short of being great power. Breaking up the British certainly helped me get more colonial territory. I am looking thick. Lorraine has become the South German Confederation, and they look nothing like any South German Confederation I've ever seen. I like how when I'm at war with the Hanseatic League, I siege down like a quarter of their country and they're willing to sell out the French to the point where I take five or four French states. The Hanseatic League has no respect for their allies. Now that we've totally pummeled the French, conquered most of Africa, and also some weird territory that I probably should not have taken, I think that's where I'm gonna call this video. This mod is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It has a lot of depth and supposedly a lot of lore. I don't understand any of the lore, it was not conveyed to me well. There's probably a Google Doc or something that floats around with all the lore written on it, and I'd appreciate if somebody could point me in the right direction within the comment section. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm definitely open to playing more Throne of Lorraine. If this video gets 300 likes, I will play more Throne of Lorraine, and let me know in the comment section which country you'd like to see me play next, because I don't really know which ones are good. Anyway, thank you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.